This little blob of plastic may not look like much to you, but over 200 million of these wacky wall walkers have been sold to date, making it the biggest selling fad item in United States history. But what makes a fad successful? We've all wondered that. What's the difference between a fad and a trend? Well, Ken Hakuta, also known as Dr. Fad, is the man responsible for the wacky wall walker, but he's also a marketing expert, and he's here today to talk about how you can create your own fad. Dr. Fad, welcome to <laughs> Nice to be here. Let's see if this thing works. Okay. Here we Should try go. it. Whoa, whoa. There we go. <laughs> can you, can you see what it's doing over here? <laughs> and it, it'll slowly slip down. <laughs> Maybe it's not going to slip. You see, and, and that's all they do, you see. Yeah, yeah. and that's there what they do. That's it. It's sticky. <laughs> And it works its way down the wall, and you've sold 200 million of these. That's right. You see, fads are generally useless sensations. They're like college pranks that you pull on a national level. And they're things that sweep the country. Everybody goes hysterics about them for a while. Then the next morning, nobody wants them. But meanwhile, you've made millions. You know? <laughs> and that's what we're talking about. Now, and, but there are fads that bomb, too. <laughs> fads that oh, never... a lot of fads for every pet rock that makes it. There are thousands out there that just are just plain dumb ideas well, and never you, get anywhere. When you came and up with uh, this, you knew you had a hit. Well, we, you knew. Right. Well, it wasn't so obvious. A lot of my friends say, well, Ken, in your case, you had the wacky wall walker. It's so obvious. But only in retrospect, like as the guy who did the pet rock, is he a genius? In retrospect. Sure, that if he had tough. failed, he'd be some kind of a big, well, tremendous hula, social case. Hula hoop. You know? <laughs> who, who could have guessed that that would have taken off the way it did? That's right. It look, you look very silly doing it, right? Mm. And uh, But you never know what's going to catch. And the great thing about fat ideas is that anybody, everybody has these wacky ideas, but they don't know how to launch it on the public. And uh, that's why I wrote my book, sort of, a, it's a how-to book on mm -hmm. how to come up with a hula hoop. You've got a couple of <laughs> would-be fads here on the table. Let's take a look that's at right them. That's right here. Uh, <laughs> this is my favorite. <laughs> this is the lag here. This is if you really want to scare people, I guess. Uh, you can have it sticking out of the trunk of your car, right? <laughs> sure way to get stopped by the police. Or you could have it uh, you know, sticking out of the closet to your door. The other day in a hotel I had fun. I ordered room service and I had it sticking out of the door of, the, uh, of my hotel room. You know? <laughs> have it sticking out of the toilet of your uh, Don't your the, don't the cops tend to show up, though, in, in the hotel <laughs> I <guess> rooms? So. <laughs> All right. so many ways to play with this leg here. And then, well, we're coming up on uh, Father's Day, aren't we? Mm -hmm. So for Father's Day, we have this, uh, if you can't uh, give your father a hug yourself, you can send your just a hug here, which is a, uh, a plastic hug <laughs> that, you, uh, that you put on like this. Then you, uh, you get that there? 24-hour hug. <laughs> then, uh, All right. Just like hugging your father for real. Now what's this? Now we're coming up in the summer here, so we have several summer items here. A convertible cap. You want to try it on? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> well, you, know, you don't want to try it. Well, you know, if it's raining, you close it. And if it's right. sunny, you know. so you know, it's a real California type of hat. And for uh, for the beach. For the beach here, we have. Uh, is this the waterproof? Shark hat. Do you go underwater with this? You can scare people with it, you I sure guess. Can. The the fun part here is this. Oh. The nice part here, you know. <laughs> and then we have. Uh, <laughs> The shark hat, if, you know, if you really thought it was safe to go back to water, no, it really wasn't here. And uh, for those who like to read, we have the book shade here. This now, is this is a good enough. idea. It may be, but it, it worries me. It's a little too useful. I think so. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I was going to say, maybe that's not the Fats key to Fats have a to fan. be a little useless. So this is kind of interesting. Now, some of these, shade. obviously, would be kind of expensive to turn out. I mean, it'd be quite a risk to market a thing like this. I think so. Those are quite expensive to make, and you don't want to make two million to start with, mm -hmm. so they may be risky. But, you know, the, the fun thing about fads is that, um, you know, these are everyday items. We're not talking better mousetraps that, uh, that it's hard to invent. You know, everybody looks at a fad and says, why didn't I do that? I could have thought of that. That's the well, beauty about it. if fads. you want to know what to do with your fad, you've got a great idea, you want to know how to market it, what makes a fad and what makes a, a bomb, <laughs> <laughs> let's hope you get a fad and this might help you. How to Create Your Own Fad by Dr. Fad, uh, Ken Hakuta, who is our guest today on Live on Five. Ken, thanks very much for being here. Oh, with my us. pleasure being here. All right. Well, <laughs>